Well, stacked chords with no doublings, uh, such as, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 note chords, uh, they really, uh, I use them where they fit, uh, you know, appropriately. So, okay, so there's a piece of music I composed. It's called Helios and Vesta, and it's for orchestra and rock band, and it's on my Sound Theories record. And it's a very, it's kind of long melody that starts out all quarter notes. Da, de, da, de, da, de. And it goes on like that. And then it, it starts to evolve and harmonies come in. And at first it's two part, three part, four part. And it goes up to, I think, uh, eight note to nine note moving chords with no doublings. It's so dense and so beautiful. Uh, it bit because of the way it builds and you hear these chords. So what I'll do is for something like that is I'll create a synthetic mode, you know, a synthetic chromatic, uh, not chromatic, a, a, a synthetic scale. Uh, and then I use that scale to create the chords. And of course the bass note is going to change the atmosphere of the chord completely. So uh, then I'll stack uh, notes like uh, for Helios and Vesta. That's a great example because you hear these chords just going by and they're really dense. And then the uh, each eight bars, the the uh, the tonality changes, the, the scale changes completely. Uh, and they're really obtuse scales, you know? you know, they're very dense and intense. And then it breaks into this beautiful eighth note melody that just goes on and on and on but uh it, well, the way i do it is i'll listen to one chord when when i'm getting into chords that are that dense i can't i have to hear them you know if it's if it's three or four voices five voices i kind of know what it's going to sound like i have a good idea what it's going to sound like with any notes but it's in the it's in the 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 moving of them that uh, create the, uh, the 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 harmony. So, with something like Helios and Vesta, I would do one chord, and when I was building the next chord, there was always the melody first. Yeah. So the melody would go through, and then I'd have to stack the notes. And sometimes, you know, the 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 depth of the voicing would change because it had to feel a certain way going from one chord to the next. So I don't sit and do that on the piano, <laughs> you know, I imagine it yeah. and then I have to kind of hear it when it's that dense. And sometimes I think like, something's not right. It, that's the best way I can tell you yeah. uh, is there's just, there's something not right. So yeah. what is that? And then you start playing with, oh, there it is. And I can tell you that the 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 uh, that section, that whole section of Helios and Vesta, took weeks because it just had to be right. You know, it had to feel a certain way because I could have. You can approach those things theoretically and just go, "Well, here's the melody, so I'm just going to stack this stuff, and you know, devil may care what it sounds like. It should work, but still, you're you know, you you don't." You you're not in complete control that way, and and then you you you'll get surprises. So I like to I like to know what everything is. 